How does the knowledge or study of foreign languages affect the mental, astral and causal bodies? Words, emotions and concepts in one language are different from another. So does it add to or replace what we have? Actually, colleagues, it does add. It adds. Because comprehension belongs to the mental realm. So from the position of the mental realm, if we are talking about the mental body, it will experience addition, without any question. Mental realm, the mental body, is more informational than energetic. The working principle here is the more you dig for, the more there is. Meaning the more you expand, the more there is for you. In the astral and etheric realms, meaning in the bodies responsible for emotions and sensations, here will be a slightly different principle, specifically the principle of replacement. The strongest emotion will replace the weakest one. In the causal realm, we will see the same rule that is at work in the mental realm, only in a hyper form, meaning that if the mental space expands twice in size with each learned language, then the causal body, the sphere of experience, will quadruple in size with each learned language or added culture. Meaning that the more information you consume, the more the informational bodies will react to it, and vice versa. The more energy you consume, the less the informational-based bodies react to it. And you'll get the opposite outcome in relation to the energetic bodies. If you consume a lot of information, then emotions and energy will decrease. Meaning that in this case it doesn't double, but is replaced. If you consume little information, then to compensate, you get more emotions. As to say, he who has seen but little cries a lot, famous old principle. So here is the answer to your question. Second, third, fourth and so on learned languages are uploaded hand in hand with cultures, meaning a particular packet of cultural knowledge will greatly aid you in the expansion of your mental realm as well as your causal body. However, in an emotional sense, you will become slightly narrower. Perhaps not calmer, no, but narrower. The emotional range will now assume defined characteristics. You won't find yourself thrown in different directions any longer. You won't fall into emotions. With that said, you may encounter such a concept as boredom, or someone from your circle will point out this newly emerged trait of yours. So don't be surprised, as it is perfectly natural and explainable precisely by the energon formational component as well as each subtle body's reaction to it. Just remember that informational bodies react to information with expansion, while energetic bodies react to information with contraction, and vice versa. When you upload the knowledge of a certain language to your mental body, as I just mentioned, it will not be merely a packet of informational knowledge. With it, you're also getting a layer of a certain cultural heritage, history, civilizational packets. All of that is not the mental realm, but the level of the causal and buddhic realms. That is where the packets appear. Information does not go away, it doesn't disappear anywhere, it becomes a factor that expands your consciousness. On the mental level, you might see a form of speech that will average the two cultures or that will replace one with another in certain instances. But in no case will this replacement happen to the detriment of anything else. Meaning, if you learn a second language, the first one will not disappear. However, your life experience, on the other hand, will invisibly and absolutely mystically undergo a change. Because it is possible that you have not lived this experience in your actual life, but by learning another language, you have uploaded data packets of behavioral structures that work specifically with the causal body.
You will just out of the blue understand how to act in a given linguistic or cultural environment, even though you haven't really learned it anywhere, haven't observed it anywhere, and possibly don't have any personal experience to be acting that way. But you suddenly understand, I know how. This is a sign of the expansion of the causal body. As a consequence, the buddhic body will also be undergoing its own kinds of changes, just due to the fact that you assimilated a language, learned a language, assimilated linguistic packets, and they, in their turn, did everything else. This is why learning languages is useful very useful in all aspects, not only in terms of communication, but also in terms of development of your own consciousness. Lucky are the ones with an aptitude for languages. All others who do not possess this aptitude have it more difficult, sure. But this is perhaps as with any skill. Some can do it right away, while others have to try harder. You just have to find the right learning mechanism. Here, colleague, I will put your mind at ease.